Part 10, the difference between terminate and stop. You'll notice in your management console that if you right click on one of your running instances that there are a number of options to start, stop, restart your instances. First one is just stop, which is really the process of shutting down the machine. Um, if it has EBS storage, the data on this storage is maintained. Um, and when the instance is shut down, you can start the instance up again when you're ready to use it again. Things like the instance ID, EBS storage, the private DNS and IPs are all maintained and restored across that stop um, and restart. Note that when an instance is in a stopped state, you are not charged for the use of that machine. However, any EBS storage that is maintained, you will be charged for. That is assuming you've gone over your free tier allocation. If you don't want to be charged, then you will need to delete the volume or terminate the instance. Once you've stopped your instance, you then have the option to restart it. Again, right click, instance state, and click on start. Obviously, the process of clicking stop and then starting it again is the equivalent of the reboot option in that sub menu as well. So the third option then is terminate. Now if you terminate an instance, everything is deleted. Only terminate an instance if you no longer lead it because you cannot restart it and you will not be able to reconnect to it again. So only use this option if you don't need the data anymore. You can also use this option if you want to make absolutely sure you're not going to be charged anymore. Any EBS storage you have with it when you terminate is deleted too, so there'll be no EBS uh, charges associated after you've, uh, you've terminated the instance either. During our training course over the next six modules, we want to make sure that we don't terminate these machines. We want to make sure that we only ever stop them reboot or start them. We don't want to lose any of the data that we've uh, installed or set up on these machines which would happen if we use the terminate. So one final tip to make access easier to our EC2 service and our virtual private cloud service if we click on the edit button we can drag the EC2 icon up to the bar at the top and we can do the same for VPC and we then have fast access to our EC2 dashboard where we can get to our storage as well and our VPC service where we can set up and configure our virtual private clouds. In the next session we'll look at how to keep an eye on your AWS spend